I want to tell Hilaire something. Tomorrow, you're going to go and make a presentation to the Chamber of Commerce. A lunch presentation. Coco Palm is a member of the Chamber. And tomorrow, Alan Chastney will be representing Coco Palm at the lunch. So you better come. You better come with a straight story. And whatever you say up there, make sure you're telling the people the truth. All the talk went around about CIP. As anticipated, leader of the opposition and businessman Alain Chastney, in keeping with his Sunday platform promise, attended the Chamber of Commerce's executive luncheon on Monday, where he questioned Investment Minister Dr. Ernest Hilaire about his concerns with St. Lucia's Citizenship by Investment Program, CIP. With the infrastructure, at what point and what verification does the CIP unit obtain that a condition has been met? You've repeatedly said, no, let me just say, you've repeatedly said, you've repeatedly said, that the infrastructure program is that Galaxy, and you've yet to confirm that Galaxy is the developer, that Galaxy is going to put $100 million in in advance and execute a work program. So at what point and what information is given to the CIP unit to confirm that $100 million has been received? Investment I, I, I Minister I Dr. Ernest Hiller sought to provide yeah, clarity pointing the audience's attention to an extraordinary gazette of Wednesday, December 20th, 2023. Amendment of Schedule 2, Investments in an Approved Enterprise Project, Option 2B, states each applicant to contribute a minimum of U.S. $1 million with enterprises detailed as housing projects, social development projects, and investment services. You're asking about how it is you will know if they spend 100 million US. It's very simple. If a developer comes to you and says, I'm going to do an infrastructure investment program for 100 million US, you give them all the projects under that heading that you want attended to. And I said in my presentation, it will be done under the supervision of the government of St. Lucia. So if I'm saying to you, I will build a school for you for 30 million dollars. The, it's up to the government center to establish that the developer has built a school for $30 million. It's not rocket science. It's very simple. Next question. At the UWP rally on Sunday, Alain Chastney unveiled his next steps in the CIP matter. In the next two weeks, I'm going to Washington, D.C. I want to go and meet with Martinez's lawyers. I hope what Dominic and Guy said is not true and that you're not scared to come up to Washington, D.C. So I'm saying to you, let us go together. Against this backdrop, instead of a normal exercise in dispassionate policy discourse. And I can categorically say that the minister is a fraud, that the minister lied, and I'm hoping that members here will take their own time to do their own verification. The chamber's executive luncheon, at times on Monday, quickly devolved into a display of raw partisan politics with tension between the arch political foes. Not in any collusion with Philip Martinez. I got to know Philip Martinez after the fact, but I believe that his court cases, of which there are two, yes, I know, I know, I'm just going to say. He has two court cases. He has a court case in St. Kitts that is a judicial review case, and he has a court case in the U.S. which is a RICO case. And then when you take the evidence of that case, it shines a light, a very strong light, and the commonality is Les Can and Galaxy. And many of the things that took place in St. Kitts where billions of dollars were collected by Galaxy, and there is no prison to show for it, has a lot of similarities here, and our interest is to make sure if in fact Galaxy is duping the government, that the government recognizes it and puts the proper measures in place to make sure that we're not duped.
The fact is, correspondent banking has already been lost in Dominica. Visas have already been lost in Dominica. It can happen here in Saint Lucia. Thank you. Should I answer that? If I, okay, as my guess, I, I, I think such behavior is inappropriate, to be honest. I mean, I, I don't think this is a forum for this. A person cannot say as of Sunday night, last Sunday, I am going to join Mr. Martinez and then say I'm not in collusion with him. How, how, how does that reconcile that you said, I agree with him, I will join him, I will sign a petition for us to file a class action suit against banks? How can you say that and say you're not in collusion? But, I mean, you know, there's a time and place for everything, so we'll take this in another forum. The SLP I, I administration be, has accused the opposition yeah, United options. Workers Party of launching a sustained investor, attack on the island's citizenship by investment program, CIP, claiming it is a deliberate attempt to destabilize the investment platform and hinder St. Lucia from reaping its potential benefits. UWP members, conversely, on their platforms, claim they are attempting to hold the government to account. Solaj Alfred, HDS News Force.